Hi, this is Jenny with Spot A Home Dublin and today I'm going to be showing you a two bedroom apartment in Cabra. So Cabra is a fairly central suburb in North Dublin. And when I say central, I mean it's right, ju just located directly outside the city centre. So you could actually walk into the city centre quite easily from here. 40 minutes would have you at most of the main attractions in the city centre, say 40 minutes from here to Trinity College, for example. But if you would prefer not to walk and wanted to use public transport instead, you've got a great choice of, of options here as well. There's a really good bus service. There's also a train service at Broombridge Station, which is just a few minutes walk from here. And that would bring you to Conley Station in the city centre, or it also serves Maynooth, which is um, a, a town in Kildare. So you've got all of, uh, all of the areas along that rail line are accessible from here as well. And the other option then is the tram, so the Lewis line that goes from Smithfield Market, which is a 20 minute walk from this apartment. In the locality itself here, it's a mostly residential area, but you've got a lot of amenities here as well. We're, we've got a Lidl's a Aldi supermarket right beside us, and there's also a Tesco supermarket just a few a couple of minutes walk away. You're right beside Stony Batter as well, which is a very popular area that has a lot of coffee shops, bars, restaurants. So if you've got all of those amenities right on your doorstep here. So it's a really great option, this area for living in the city centre or, as I said, commuting out of it if you needed to you've got the access there to the train line right so i'm going to walk you through the apartment now we'll have a quick look at it so for the front door we're now in the entrance hall the first room i'm going to bring you into is the bedroom that is here to my right so you can see it is a twin bedroom with one single bed along the wall here second single bed along the wall here under the window and this faces onto a desk which has a small mirror on it and a lamp and there is shelving here. It's a hairdryer there. There's a chair for the room as well. Behind the door then is where the wardrobe is located. So first door has shelves. Second has hanging rails. So there's one lower, one upper and another shelf over it. Plus a little bit of storage on top of the wardrobe, there's a gap. Um, I'll step back now and you can see there's a gap between the wardrobe itself and the ceiling, so a small bit of extra storage up there. So this is a nice bright room. It's got a window that looks out to the front gates of the development here. So the main thing you can see from it is this nice stone wall and there's a good bit of greenery, which is which is lovely to have, especially considering we're in such an urban setting here. So that's the whole room there. Now, directly opposite this bedroom, so on the left-hand side of the corridor, is the second bedroom. So as you can see, that's also located at the front and also has two twin beds. Between the twin beds here, there is a bedside locker with drawers, storage space in the drawers, and this room just looks over this kind of corner of the front of the development, so there's a little garden area, steps up to the upper apartments. And there's a second bedside locker then between the wall and the second bed. We have another chair here in the corner. And this bedroom is an ensuite. So through here is the bathroom. In the bathroom is the extractor fan that we can hear. There's a mirrored washhand basin. There's a mirrored cabinet over. Storage. WC behind us here. And this is the shower shower works off the um, main water tank. So this room also has a wardrobe, same style of wardrobe as in the first bedroom. So again, shelf over the hanging rails and shelving in the second door. Okay. 
room. Right. Further on down the corridor, the next uh, door we come to is actually a small utility room. Utility and storage. This is kind of just used more for um, storage of cleaning products. And so stuff like that. Across from here then is the main bathroom. This is a really good sized bathroom. So there's WC, wash hand basin. This is a small recessed mirror. So you do have a little bit of storage kind of along the shelf there. And behind us is a bath. Shower curtain. And there is just a telephone shower attachment on the handles. So this would um, just hook in up here. So right. So back out to the corridor there is a second um storage room as, as such but really it is just for the water tank you might have get a small number of things in around it but not not very much and then the main living area is to the back of the property so the first thing we have is dining table here behind us then is the kitchen so as you can see there's a washing machine here Microwaves in the corner. There is a toasted sandwich maker, a toaster, and a kettle. Then we'll have a look at the fridge is underneath this. So it's just a small fridge, but a decent bit of storage in it. Here's the door. And let's take a look at the presses. We have a small press here beside the fridge. Colander is located here. Cleaning products then in under the sink, stainless steel sink and drainer unit. There are pots and pans located here. Next to this then is the oven. So it's an electric oven with four electric hobs over. The last, last of we have drawers, so the drawers are fully equipped. We've got all of our cutlery here and cooking utensils. A few more utensils, tea towels here. And then this is mostly storage in this press. There are also wall mounted units. So directly above us, the storage space bowl there. This is an extractor fan. Apologies for the oven. Open shelf and this press here houses glassware and crockery. And our very last press then is mostly storage, but there are a few other bits of crockery available. That is the whole kitchen and this is just open then onto the living room. So there are two sofas. Oh, and so here beside the um, washing machine is a small freezer box. Okay, so we've one sofa here, extra chair, dining chair in the corner. There's a reclining sofa there. Shelving, TV, and shelving over that. From here, you also have access outside. So the outside is a small terrace. It's kind of cut, um, the planting here gives you a little bit of privacy. A little bit of green space to your terrace, which is nice. And it's uh, screened at the edge there as well. And there's just some lawn, a 
inside you that leads you to the rest of the development. So that is the apartment in full. Hope you've found this video informative, but if you have any other queries, you can contact us at spotahome.com.